afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the New York Yankees and the Detroit Tigers. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Jordan Zimmerman, the right-hander from the state of Wisconsin, is on the mound here. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, man, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been pretty good his last three starts. A whip under 1.20, so he minimizes the amount of base runners. He's a tough customer. It'll be fun to watch him to see if he's on point early in this one here today. Here's Brett Gardner now, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. First pitch, 110. Now the pitch. Nope. A ball and a strike to our leadoff man here one. this afternoon. So, fellas, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, Maddie, they played a heck of a game, first game of this series, and then dropped the last two, not playing really good baseball. They have to find a way to win this one today. No doubt about it, D-Roll. The, the, there's such a thing as a good series by winning the last one and getting a split in a four-game set. That's exactly what they would like to do today to get some momentum going into the next series. Now the 2-1. Hit in the air to left field. Reyes moves over a few steps to his right as he's got it for the first out. Batting second. The third baseman. Gio Urshela. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Altogether, a fine afternoon for baseball. 66 degrees, the game time temperature. Here's the 0 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Hey, you know, D-Roll, Mike Fillmore, he'll give a little bit off the edges, but he gets the respect not only from the pitchers, but from the players because his zone is consistent. Yeah, as long as he's consistent, Dan, I'm okay with Mike Fillmore's zone. If a pitcher's pounding that zone, he wants to give a little bit off the outer edge, I'm okay with that. That is third. The right field, number 99, Aaron. Stepping up to the plate, Aaron Judge. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Yeah, I get it. They want to run this guy's pitch count up, but that was a pretty good pitch to hit. He might be kicking himself that he'd swing at that one. And there's a base hit on the line. So that two out success means Gary Sanchez will get to hit here. So a two out single there as we check out the teams with the highest batting averages here in the first month of the season. And we see that these guys are currently second in the AL in that department. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. First pitch of the at bat.
He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Smoked on the ground left side. And now he has some trouble with it in left. Wow, looked like an easy beginning of this inning. Gets the first two guys out. Then the three and four hitters all of a sudden start locking in on him. And now he's uh, got to get through this fifth hole hitter to get out of this inning unscathed. Yeah, he's definitely put his feet to the fire right here. This number five guy, he's known. He sits in that five hole to drive in runs, and he's smelling ribbies right now. Mike Tuckman is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Judge over at second. Sanchez on at first with two down. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Well you can see he's coming right at this guy just pounding the ball in the strike zone. He certainly has the advantage now. This guy hasn't even swung the bat yet. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2 but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Uh, just tried to freeze him with the fastball there. Pretty close. It's two and two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go three two and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. The two two lifted down the line in left and they can't run it down. Two down runners at first and second. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. He really needs to find a pitch to put this guy away with right here, right now. He can't allow this inning to get any worse than it's already become. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. I'll tell you, he's looked unsteady out there since the first pitch he threw. A couple of hits and a free pass, so he's really searching for an answer to get back on track. We'll see if he can settle down here. Stepping into the box, Torres. And he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. Here's the first pitch to him. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. One and oh, here it is. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Bases are loaded here, two down. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. And this is hit hard to the right side. But foul. He set the 2-2. Two -two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, would have been a grand slam if he'd straightened it out. Instead, it's a foul ball. Here's the two and two. This is in the air out to right field. Stewart is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Yankees leave them loaded. Yankees nothing. Tigers coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Garrett Cole gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. Standing in, Victor Reyes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Out in front of it, strike one. Boy, they're really giving him fits inside now as he can't get extended there, and it's 0-2 now. Oh, 
Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Standing in now, Harold Castro. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Well, this Yankee ball club entering play this afternoon here, they're definitely in a nice stretch as they've won six of their last seven ball games. Hey, Matty V, yeah, they'd like to finish this series off strong, d -roll. They won't lose the first game of the set. They come back storming winning games two and three. They'd like nothing more than to finish it off and go three out of four and win this one here. And heading into the weekend, this could really fire up this team, both offensively and defensively. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the same location over and over and over. That's a great take right there. Great pitch recognition to let that one go. Opposite handed, that's coming across the plate. You might think you got a shot to stay inside that one. And he takes strike three called. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here to open the home first, two away. He's just got great got strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double-digit Ks, and it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. The first baseman, Miguel Cabrera, stands in. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Two out, nobody on. Left center, base hit. He's been cold. Batting average fell below 230, but that knot might have put him in a positive frame of mind. Hopefully that's the start of something big right now. Good draw. Into the box, Nico Goodrum. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. Down low, and the plot thickens here, 3 and 0. Oh. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. So digging in now, Austin Romine is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Little chopper back to the mound. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Tigers come up empty in the first. We've played an inning at Comerica Park with no score.
Into the box. Mike Ford. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Now the pitch. Hey. The wind up and the 0 1. Grounded up the first baseline. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Batting it. The designated hitter. Miguel. And Duhar. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He's got three hits in six tries for the series. First pitch on its way. 1 0. -oh. No score here as we play inning number two. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Now here it comes. And he fouls this one off. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. And that'll bring up Tyler Wade. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Day off for him yesterday, but back out there for this one. Here comes the 1 0. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2 and 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line drive to center field. The merits there to retire the side. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Into the box now, Jordy Mercer. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Jordy Mercer. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball one. One oh count. Here it is. Hard hit ball to second. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Wow, this is a perfect example of a wily veteran doing what needs to be done to deliver for his team. Yeah, and just watch this swing. Instead of trying to do too much with it and pull it, he stays inside the ball and is able to smack it to the opposite field for a double. Up next steps Kristen Stewart. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. From the belt, the pitch swung on and missed. It's 0 and 1. 88 on a changeup. I remember when an 88 mile an hour fastball wasn't all that bad. Man, the game's changing. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. Cole, or the Cole train, as he's frequently called. This is year one of a new nine year deal that he signed recently, so it looks like he's here to stay for a long time. One and two. One ball, two three, Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. A runner at second. Nobody out. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. 
Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. The next batter, Jamer Candelario, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Blowing away as he misses again, 2 and 0. Bottom of the second here with no score. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Tuckman will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Batting nine, the center fielder, Robert. Demerit. Now in the box, Travis Demerit, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. The 0 1 offering. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. One and one. Here it is. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Two and one. Here it is. Swing and a miss. Strike two. A full count, three and two to the Tigers' center fielder. When a pitch is close to working through a quick inning, that's when you really need to grind out some at bats. He's done a good job of that, and that's really big when you're hitting towards the bottom of the order. The payoff pitch fouled away. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. One left for Detroit. We'll move to the third with no score. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner. He flied out leading off the ball game. The center fielder, number 11, Brett. First offering on its way. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. The 0-1 on its way. This one's blooped out toward right center field. In there, a base hit. Now that third baseman, Gio. Urshela. In now, Gio Urshela. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A 1 and 0 delivery. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. There's one. On to first, and as Ernie may have said, it's two for the price of one for the Tigers. Two away. Now back, right fielder, Aaron Judge. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, and that, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Here comes the 0 1. And a hanger as he gives this one a pretty good ride out to deep center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Down in order go the Yankees. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Bottom of the inning now. Digging in to try it again. Victor Reyes. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. Outside, that's a ball. Well, that's a nasty breaking ball right there. Backdoor slider just missed the corner. As they say, that's a Hall of Fame pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. One of the toughest pitches to hit the straight change up oh, right El Cambio hadn't that's seen it in that entire at bat and what no. happens gets the string pulled on him right there had no chance to put that ball in play. At the plate Harold Castro. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ball takes a pitch high and away for ball one. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. Skied into very shallow right. Judges under it, and that's the second out of the inning. Now batting the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. So two are gone now for Miguel Cabrera. Hole into the windup. First pitch on its way. Well, now it's one and oh. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. A ball and a strike to Miguel Cabrera. They love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. The 1 1 home. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Reined in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Detroit. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Gary Sanchez. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Here's the first pitch to him. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run. He's there and records the first down. Now batter, left fielder, Mike Parkman. Ready for another chance. Mike Talkman. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now here's the pitch. Ball, that's and that's high for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. Well if you love pitching and defense this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that Dan. I think this continues for a while Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well throwing strikes having good command of their off speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low scoring affairs. Count even now at one and one.
No runs, three hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. Goodrum onto the grass. He can't get there as it falls in. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Throw over to the bag, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Bullet back up the middle. A dive, but it's off his glove. That had to be in the scouting report right there. You don't see too many 0-0 breaking ball ambushes in the game anymore. He had to know that pitch was coming. So now to the plate, Mike Ford, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And it's fouled away. One and one pitch. There he goes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Back goes Demerit. He gets there, and that's the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Now that designated hitter, Miguel and Duhar. Digging in now, Miguel Andujar. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ready with the 0-1. Inside, ball one. No runs, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Ooh, and he misses, 2-1. Okay. and one. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The set, and the 2-1. and one. Rounded down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. Yanks strand a pair. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. And next it'll be the Tigers' cleanup hitter, Nico Goodrum. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Gardner is right there, one down. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. At the plate, Austin Romine comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. One strike now from Cole. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. 
Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's now favor, but it wasn't baseman. outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really sure. tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Here's Jordy Mercer now. As the first pitch well, here's a bit high, it's ball one. Mercer is a middle infielder by trade, of course, usually a shortstop, but they've got him at second base in this one. Yeah, Matty, this guy's got some of the best hands in the game. It doesn't matter. Shortstop, second base, you can pretty much put him wherever you want in the infield. Premium defender, up the middle defender, looks to help out the pitching staff any way he can. Two out, nobody on. Too high and it's three and oh yeah he's all over the place right now no doubt he's clearly fighting his mechanics the three oh you maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window this is certainly that situation Cole has his target, trying to work it full on three and one. Hit hard on the ground at first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Tigers through four. Still tied, nothing, nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far, and he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. He said he's really proud of the fact that they've only gone down on strikes once in the game, all while averaging over a base hit per inning. If that kind of combination continues, he thinks there's a lot more to look forward to. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. So striding in, Tyler Wade. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Tyler Wade. First pitch of the at bat. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One and two now. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And that's just another base hit in a long line of many. Seems like he's been now pitching from the stretch the entire game, field. but somehow right. he's still got a shutout going. We'll see how long he can make this last. To the plate now, Brett Gardner. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. A hit in two tries for him so far. Oh, and one, here it comes. He's running. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Set to deliver on nothing and two. Here it comes. And this is swung on and missed as Gardner's a strikeout victim one away. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. And right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. Now a throw over and late reactions and they got him. I think he was going first pitch, first movement all the way. And apparently the pitcher knew it too, caught him leaning. At the plate now, Gio Urshela. Liner towards second. And that'll get down for a two-out single. 
Hey, there's another base knock right there. A hitting streak right now game. up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, eight games. Now, nah, man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. You know, you get past that week, you just know you're locked in. They start talking eight games. Now you're like, all right, I got a nice little hitting streak going. Ball one to start the at bat. Hits this one hard the other way. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Two men are on with two men out. Hot shot down the line, but a foul ball, one and one. Even at one and one, the pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder is on the run, and he brings it down to end the inning as the go ahead run is left stranded. We are in Motown, but I don't think we'll be seeing any of these people dancing in a soul review tonight. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this back from Comerica Park in Detroit as we send it down to Heidi Watney thanks Matt I talked with Tigers manager Ron Gardenhire during the break about the team's offensive performance so far and he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now he said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches a lot of their outs have come from at bats where they've fallen behind so the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at bats way to go Okay, thank you, Heidi. The right fielder, number 14. First pitch on its way. Kristen Stewart is in for the second time here as he looks at a ball high, 1 0. Oh. The pitch. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2-2 two -two one more time. It's a fastball down below the knees. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. A little roller toward the hole. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now that well, if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. One out now here in the Tiger fifth inning. And into bat next, it'll be Jamer Candelario. Here's the first pitch to him. Out of play off to the right. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's one that misses high, it's one and one. A 
Ball and two strikes. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone of protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box, Travis Dumerit. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Cole gets the sign. Here's the 1 0. And he falls behind now 2 0. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2 0 as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. And here's a slider for a cold strike. Nasty 2 0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's oh. doing that, and he's even got himself into a good hitter's count now. And he takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Well, they've been unable to get to this guy, so they'll take base runners any way they can get him. At the very least, you make him work from the stretch and add to his pitch total. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Victor Reyes. He's gone down on strikes twice already in this one. And Dan, when you know you have a chance to hand someone a hat trick for the game, is there any extra motivation to punch him out again? Hey, there's no doubt about that, Matt. When you have a good hitter like this and you've punched him out twice already, you just want to continue to go out there and make good pitches and see if you can't dominate him for a third time. Lifted the other way to left center. After it is Gardner. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Tigers leave one. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip, zip. Top half of the sixth about to get started. So stepping in, Mike Talkman. Last time through was a base hit. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. And this is off the corner and low. Ball one. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there. One and oh. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And the Yankees are in business here. It's a leadoff double. Oh, this is a great way to start the inning. Now the go-ahead run back. is on second. A base hit away from coming across. I know it's only the sixth inning, but you'd love to claim the lead right now and let your bullpen carry the load the rest of the way. Into the box now, Torres, as he'll send a ground ball down to third. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Now batting the first baseman, Mike Ford. Ready for another shot now. Mike Ford, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Lays off for ball one. One out and a runner on second base. Fouled off. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The battle. The designated hitter. 
Miguel and Duhar. And that'll bring up Miguel and Duhar. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. That's what's called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat, so it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Wade. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. First delivery to him on the way. Whoa, that's well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. Here's the 1 0. Sent on the ground out to second. Taken in by Mercer. On to second for the force out and the side is retired. Yanks strand a pair. Still no score. Next to the plate for the Tigers, the DH, Harold Castro. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Now the pitch. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. In there at the knees, 0-2 now. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now, down 0-2. Got to find a way to grind. That misses, 1-2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. And that'll bring up the veteran Miguel Cabrera. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's working on a one for two game so far. Hit high in the air down the right field line. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, there's a bullet off the wall. The outfielder does a really good job of getting that one in quickly, but I think they had a play there at second base. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, Dan. I, I, I got to believe you're busting it out of the box thinking two until somebody tells you no. I know it would have been a close play, but I think you got to err on the aggressive side right there. Here it comes. Nico Goodrum comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Struck him out and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Boy, he's just been setting him up and knocking him down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right there and see you later. Oh 
So now to the plate, Austin Romine. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Too tight with that one. 3 and 0. Oh. Jordy Mercer would be next if they can keep this inning alive. That one's in there, three and one. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3 0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second no now with two no. out. Well, they've struggled base, offensively man. in this one so no far, deal. but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Big spot here, first and second, two men gone, and that'll bring in the Oklahoma State product, Jordy Mercer. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Much too tardy on the fastball. One and one. That's why you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. And he popped him up. In comes Judge. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. To the plate now, Kristen Stewart, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Ball just a bit low here. He's behind 2 0 oh now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Ready with the 2 0. -oh. Taken, and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. And it misses three and one now. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. And he fouls this one off. Two out, bases loaded. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So the Tigers leave them loaded, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. So back to the top of the Yankee order, digging in. Brett Gardner. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Well, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Pulled toward right center field. Back goes Demerit. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batting the third baseman. Gio Urshela. Ready once again, Gio Urshela. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. 
I know it's cliche and it's tired at times but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black and it's even at one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Demerit is camped under this one. Two gone. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judd. Stepping into the box, Aaron Judge. He singled his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Big slow breaking ball that drops in for a strike to start him out. It's nothing and one. And he misses with it one and one. Very impressive outing so far. His command has been spot on. Even when he misses his spot, it isn't out over the heart of the plate. He's throwing quality pitches. Bases are empty here with two men out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Here now the 2-2. Hit sharply toward the right side. Stewart is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We are still scoreless. Next up for Detroit, Jimer Candelario. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody put something together to try to score a run. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1 fouled away protecting on 0 and 2 so we'll do it again just hung in there on that one Another 0 2. Changeup laid off down around the shins. Well, pitch count will become a factor here in the seventh. He's about to hit 100 for the game. Yeah, Matty B. That magic number in today's game is about 100 pitches, and this next pitch will be pitch number 100. Dero, he's been sailing along pretty easily so far in this one. Yeah, they've, he's given him some serious depth in this one. For him to get into the seventh inning allows the manager a lot of leeway, whether he wants to go to his bullpen or not. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. When you're this deep into a start, it can be really exhausting and annoying when a hitter makes you work as hard as he did right there. He got the strikeout. That's great, but he's probably thinking, get that guy out of here. In now, Travis Demerit. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. It was a walk in his last trip. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit hard to the right. 
but foul. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. The 0-2 once more. Well, I think after that foul away, this pitcher can go almost anywhere he wants. That pitch was way off the plate and off speed. I'm surprised he even offered it that one. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. That was a big strikeout there, guys. The best now pitchers back. have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to, and that second oh, yeah. out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. At the plate now, Victor Reyes. Batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now and the inning is over. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Striding in once again, Gary Sanchez. He'll start us off in the eighth. Gary. starting to run out of time they haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one a perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally he's ready here's the first offering sends that one out of play for strike one the 0 1 fly ball out toward left center field and Demerit will be there to make the play for the first out. Now batting, left fielder, Mike Hawkman. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Mike Talkman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit and kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. The three and one pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that is off the wall. And he is in the second base with one away as the go ahead run. Wow, he was willing that thing to get out of here. Would have given them the lead right here late in the game, but it ends up hitting off the wall and he heads into second with an extra base hit. We'll see if the next man up can come through with a clutch here. Now here comes Ron Gardenhire up out of the dugout. And we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. He departs in a tie ball game, but is responsible for that runner at second, so the best he can hope for is a no decision here. Will Burroughs gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Number 37, Stepping in now, Torres, as he'll take a look at ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point.
Ready with the 1 0. Out of play off to the right. It's 1 and 1. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. 1 and 1. Here it comes. Two, one. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Into the corner and slicing foul. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Well his struggles continue. It's been a rough no goal then at the no plate with him. Good. And watching Come this on. at bat, it's Ooh. clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Into the box now, Mike Ford. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The set and the 1-0. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Three and oh now. Miguel Andujar would be next. Three zero. -oh. Here it is. That one's in there. Three and one. And it's up to a three-two full count now. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Pulled toward right center field. Back goes Demerit. He won't have a play, and this should finally get him on the board. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run is also in, and with it, they take the lead. Boy, those have to feel really good, Dero. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. The batter number 14. Settling in now, Tyler Wade. And a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Two down, runners at first and second. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit. He'll come home with it. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, I tell you what, that's a big RBI late in the game here. They take a 2 0 okay. lead, D Road. The way the pitching's been for them tonight, they're sitting in a pretty good spot. Yeah, Dan, they've gotten great pitching all game long, and all that extra run can do is give you a little bit more confidence. You don't have to pitch with such tension out there, fearful of making one mistake. At the plate, Brett Gardner, as he lines it hard to the right side, but out of play. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And a 
curveball that he didn't get on top of there. It's one and one. He's not having his best outing in this one. And I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one, and that's not the first time that's happened. Now the one and one pitch. This one to right field and deep off the bat of Gardner. Racing back the right fielder. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Home run number five on the year. And that'll stake the Yankees to a 5-0 lead now. Hey, in today's game of extreme velocity, if you have mediocre stuff, you cannot miss over the heart of the plate. You have to nibble at the corners. He wasn't able to do that, and he paid the ultimate price. Rony Garcia enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Garcia. Standing in now, Gio Urshela. Gio. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in his own, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Grounded to short, right to him. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. But not before five crossed the plate, with the big blow being this three run home run. On now to the bottom of inning number eight, 5 0 New York. Striding forward now is the DH, Harold Castro. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First pitch of the at-bat. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Bouncer up the middle. Torres brings it in, and there's one away. Now back, first baseman, Miguel. Job round off. Next for the Tigers, Miguel Cabrera. He's two for three thus far. First pitch on its way. Ball. Tough spot in the game right here. You have a very close call that doesn't go your way. This is when you have to really regroup as a pitcher and go out there and try to make quality pitches. 2 and 0. Oh. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Nico Goodrum is on deck. One out, nobody on. And oh, not so fast, partner. A called strike on the inside part of the plate. Three and one now. And Cabrera watches it miss, so he'll head to first with a base on balls. Now batting. The shortstop. Nico. Into the box now. Nico Goodrum. And after that quick walk, is it fair to wonder if this starter is beginning to show signs of getting tired? Yeah, that could be the case, Matty. Sometimes you just lose your focus, lose your command, but it'll be real important for him to get it back as this next hitter walks up to the plate.
He's set and the pitch. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Set to deliver pitch number 120. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great now command, back. great location. In the Up big key, there. with two strikes, he's attacking oh, the zone. So now to the plate, Austin Romine, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Full sets and delivers. Well, should be 2 and 0, oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1 and 1. You see that swing right there? You know what that tells me, boys? That this pitcher is doing his job right here, but also the offense is obviously not picking anything up today. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Lifted down the line in left. And they can't run it down. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And it's late his afternoon of work, and the longer this at bat goes, the better chance of him making a mistake. But as a guy starts to tire, they're more likely to leave the ball up. But man, he's been good so far. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas, so. When you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he's got another one. 15 strikeouts in the ball game, and the side is retired. One left for Detroit. Need to get it going soon. It's 5-0. Riding forward now, Aaron Judge. A couple of singles for him and four trips for him this afternoon. Aaron Judge. Here's the first pitch to him. And we kick off the ninth oh inning with a God. swinging strike here. Nothing in one. He's going to step out of the box, adjust his batting gloves, and pray he gets the exact same pitch as that one. Because if it comes again, we like to refer to that one in the biz as a cement mixer. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Got him. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Now back, Pepper, Gary Sanchez. Now at the plate, Gary Sanchez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Throw on to first takes care of him, and the top of the ninth is proving unfruitful thus far. Two quick now outs here. Left fielder, Mike Talking. Striding into the box, Mike Talkman. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Oh, 
One and one the count now. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Nope. And a good eye as he lays off and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. Hit to short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag and he's safe at first. Infielders are taught from the time they hold a glove that you've got to play the ball and not let the ball play you. You can see here that this one just ate him up and he couldn't recover in time. Runner at first following the error and stepping up as the shortstop Torres. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one, no strike. Two out with the man at first. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2 and 0 oh now. Well, both of those balls have been inside, so if I'm hitting, I'm looking for something I can get my arms extended on. Probably won't come back inside for a third time. And there's ball three. There's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Strike two as the fastball is let go. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Fouled off. Payoff pitch one more time. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. The Yanks leave one, but they hold a 5 nothing lead. Chad Green, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Chad Green. Now to the plate, Jordy Mercer. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Boy, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at-bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Ball at the side. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. That's a ball. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. And that catches the outside corner. It's two and one. Now here's the pitch. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. Now this is a leadoff at bat. Great patience, and he's just waiting for that pitch that's too good to pass up. Set. Here's the 3 1. And could this be the start? It's a long way back, but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at bats. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. At the plate, Kristen Stewart. He was hunched out looking at strike three last time through. 
Yeah, Matty, that was a tough strikeout. A big strikeout in this game, too. If you think back, there were two guys in scoring position. So he has to be looking for much more out of his A.B. this time. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a fastball here not close and it's one and one now. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left hander up and throwing in the bullpen. The one one takes a pass and misses that strike two. The one two. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out, runner on first. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down now around the bottom of the third zone. Base. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. At the plate now, Jimer Candelario. As he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center, and that's going to get down for extra bases. And this will find the wall out near the visitors' bullpen. In to score is the runner from first. Never say never in this game, folks. It's late and the clock is ticking, but that RBI double might start making believers out of the entire dugout. We'll see if they can build on it and maybe get back into this thing. Digging in, Travis Dumerit. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First delivery to him on the way. A ball and no strikes. You know, in this situation, you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base. That run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got. The hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head. Chuono now. This inning really feels like it's getting away from him out there. As a reliever, you can't let that happen. Nothing you can do about what's already happened, and it's only going to get worse if you're not focusing on the guy in the batter's box. Runner at second here with one man out. And little doubt about that one. That's in there, and it's two and one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Up and in here as he had to bend out of danger. Victor Reyes is on deck. The three and one pitch is strike two swinging. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. The left fielder, number 22. So the batting order turns Victor. over now and set to go. Victor Reyes. Right and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he lays off there 1-0.
hard hit toward the hole. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw on to first, and the Yankees have taken the finale here. They win the series three games to one as the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Five to one, the final total in today's game. The Yanks used a huge eighth inning to help secure the win. Garrett Cole with his fourth win this season with 15 strikeouts. Jordan Zimmerman is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.